Hey guys, it's Nate, AKA The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be looking at some of your end game FIFA 22 Ultimate Team squads. It's been a full FIFA cycle, a full year of going from ground zero all the way up to these end game squads in FIFA 22. And what I wanna do is just take a look at all of these great squads you guys have sent in to me on Twitter and on the live stream, basically showing your grind from day one to now. All the trading, all of the grinding, the crafting, everything that goes into a year of FIFA. Now we have kind of an end product to show for it with these end game teams. So I'm excited to look through these today. They're all very interesting, trying to spice it up a bit. One interesting question that I added to also spice it up was, I said, hey, show me your end game squad, but also tell me your biggest value pack pull during this year of FIFA 22. I'm gonna do a deep dive on my club in a couple of videos from now, but I did wanna take this opportunity to show off some of your guys' squads, right? Because it's been an incredible year of content and it's so cool to see all the great cards that we have now in FIFA and how our teams have evolved over the course of this year. So. Without further ado, let's get a look at some of these squads. All right, so here's the tweet that I put out. I said, I wanna see your endgame teams. Also, the most expensive card you've packed during FIFA 22. Now let's look through some of these. Everybody's gonna have these, like 99 Varane chat. I would almost bet that 99 Varane is in like every single team today. 99 Varane, 99 Usman, and Salah. He's got Ronaldo, Conte, and Mbappe. This guy has no defense. This guy is a one-man midfield chat. Wait, wait, hold up. He's definitely playing three back. Three back with Conte and Cancelo in the midfield. We're a team, bro. We're a team. This is Pac Mouse the Goat. All right, full team and bench. Courtois and goal. Ramos and Kempembe play fullback. Oh, wow. A 95 Kempembe rat. Holland, the brand new card. Footies cards. Pogba's in there. Pushkas, a bit of an older card if you think about it. He says that Pushkas is the best dribbler he's used this, this year. So that's one thing that I'm interested in when looking through these squads today is looking through what cards that are a little bit older that still make it into people's teams. Like Pushkas, technically a little bit older, right? Like anything that's pre-Tots or pre-Shapeshifters, I'd be a little surprised in. But some people I bet will have them. So yeah, that's a great team. I like that you love Ramos too. Nice bench. You have Messi, Yetter. Yetter doesn't even make the squad chat. Hey, yo. And then he says, this is his best pack pull. A thousand games with team of the year Cancelo. When he was a million coins, I think he said it was his best pack ball. Crazy. The best team. Oh my gosh. Chiellini, end of an era. Barella footies. Th this team is like host shapeshifters team. It's all footies cards. One end of an era. And then Ronaldo, R9. Oh wait, just kidding. R9 was my most expensive pull. So this guy packed R9. Red Mbappe was my best pull during tots. The rest were traded to by crafting or bought. Yeah, Red Mbappe is sick, bro. And you packed... 97 or 9, that's nasty. It's, this guy says, built on fodder profits. Best pull was Ginola when he was 8 mil. It's a 198 chat. 198. Again, like I said, players that we've seen in just about every single team. Usman Dembele, 99 Varan. I think actually Salah has been in just about every one of these teams too, bro. R9, Yetter again, Ronaldo again, Kyle Walker, Allison. Okay, here's our first Amavi. Ginola was the most expensive player that my brother packed for me while doing a share play. Wow, so you packed Ginola as well. That's crazy. He's not even your team. Chat, I can't lie. A lot of these teams are looking the same, bro. It's it's endgame FIFA 22 starter pack. Varane, the brand new Rudiger or Militao in like all of these. Ah, oh, hey, Erickson. Oh, Dina Talley. Yo, I rate this one. I rate this one, Sly Gabber. You got some Serie A down the right side with Dina Talley, Barella, and Cordoba. I like it. It's different. You've got Holland up there up top. Chat, what I'm seeing in like every single one of these teams too is I'm seeing I, I, I'm seeing at least like three or four footies players, you know? I mean, if, if you're if you're still playing at this stage, you're definitely gonna have a crack team, you know? Vandersar, Varane again, Salah again, Mendy, Neymar, St. Max. War a team, bro. Sawyer, who's your best pull? Team of the year Mbappe? Head, headliners Mbappe? Oh, you packed a headliner Mbappe? Oh, that's a big pull. He was five mil at the time for this. Well, let's go. First year on FIFA. Fort says first year on FIFA, he sent his squad. Hey, that, hey that's the first Eden Hazard, the first Rashford. And still a Ricardo Perea flashback makes the team. Bro, this whole squad is green apart from like two players. This one's a little bit different because he only has 199 and it's Lewandowski to be fair. But that flashback Ricardo Perea getting in your team is interesting. Nice one though, different. A little bit of five back action, action. A little ratty. Hey yo, Chiellini, Ginola, Di Natale. I like the shapeshifter hero route you got going here. Of course, we got some great footies. 
We got Salah, we have Neymar, we have Varane. Bro, those premium footies items, if you look at a lot of these teams we're looking at, the premium footies were so, so big. So, so big for people in, in chemistry. Like, look, Neymar linking to Salah. When else does that happen? Salah linking to Ben Yedder. Only premium footies. Oh, wow. Hey, yo, some reds in the team. I think he's swapping out for Rudiger. Yep. Red Militao gets sat down for Rudiger. Amavi in the team and then a whole bunch of footies, man. That's a very meta team. All right, here's another team. He's got the brand new Renato Sanchez, Yedder, Neymar. It's a 197 squad. Nice team, bro. You got that Ericsson. I like it. And that Renato. Actually, chat, is this the first squad with Renato in the starting 11? I know he was just dropped, but that's crazy to me. There was so much hype for Renato SBC, and he's not getting into all these people starting 11s, bro. I think it's because his stats aren't as insane as other cards in other midfielders, you know? Zaje, incredible club, bro. Who's your most expensive pull? 1,100 games with POTM Mbappe. Whew. Wait, Paqueta Tots? That was your best pull? It had to have been like right away when he was like a million coins, right? That's That was your best pull all year? When he was 1.5 mil? All right, that's a pretty good pull. 1.5 mil for the GG's. Let's go back and look at a couple. All right, I got one right here. He says, that's the team. I packed R9 twice, first in April and a couple days ago as well. Oh my gosh, dude. No way. Ronaldo and Pele, all Brazil icon player pick. That was a nation specific one, but still, that's crazy. R9, Hullet and Pele, Cordoba, Chiellini, and Barella. I like seeing the Serie A triangles that still fit into a couple of these guys' teams. Like Chiellini, Barella, we still see a little bit of Cordoba as well. And then on the bench, you've got all the moments, guys. Jesus, Renato, Rudiger, Gravenberch, Gareth Bale, GG's. I like that you have icons in there, bro. I know some people are going to be like, nah, Nate's behind the curve, but I like that. Here's what I'm rocking with. Most expensive pulls, 99 Messi during shapeshifters when he was 7 mil. You, sir, have a red Ronaldo. Oh, some more Syria. Nah, he's got the biggest fraud of a goalkeeper in game chat. Mike Magnan, what a fraud. You've got, you've got four or five Serie A cards in here, man. Fair play. Finally, another Renato in a starting 11. <laughs> I love these replies, chat. <laughs> people, people respond to a squad like this. <laughs> a 198, and this guy says, touch grass, bro. Mendy Rudiger Valverde. Nice. Ronaldo at left back. Pack pull SBC. Look at this. R9 moments on the bench. Yetter is on the bench. Ginola. Now that's a stacked club right there. I'm surprised at how many people did 98 Ben Yedder. Like we scrolling through a lot of these teams. Like look how many Yedders we see, bro. It's crazy. Another one in this team right here. Look at this. Pele and CR7 Tots packed five minutes apart during Prem Tots. What? There's a Renato in the team. Renan Lodi. Ribery. Kimpembe. Ooh, here's one. Zidane making a starting 11. Wait, is this guy just going under all these tweets and telling people to touch grass? This guy's just in my mentions telling people to touch grass chat. I think this guy is jealous. Mbappe, Zidane, Griezmann, Amavi, Steve Mandanda. Nice mix of some shapeshifters, some footies, and you got that moment Zidane. All right, here's another one. R9 again, Renato Sanchez. After I say that I haven't seen Renato, then he starts popping up in all these squads. Here's a couple things that I've noticed I'm surprised. You guys mentioned it too. 99 Salah. I am very surprised to see Salah in like so many of these squads. I guess it's the premium footies links that made people do him because like otherwise he wouldn't have had great links. I mean, not that it's a bad card, but... A lot more people did Salah than I thought, bro. I mean, I'm not saying the Salah is bad by any means, but you're right. It is the best Salah ever. So there's some motivation for people to get him in their teams too. Not the most expensive pull, but my coolest from a 75 plus pack from Winter Wild Cards. Zlatan, let's go. <laughs> Hi, Nate. There we go. Squad named after TFA. Ooh, team of the year, Ronaldo. Don't see him that often. St. Max at left back. Yo, chat, this guy's running a two at the back formation. <laughs> I bet he drops Conte to center back in game or something. He's got St. Max at left back and Usman at right back. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this guy's back, chat. There he is. He's back. He says, touch grass, mate. Schmeichel, that's the first time we've seen him. Yetter Dembele. <laughs> this guy on Twitter, the grass guy is back. He's, he's making me laugh. Teo Hernandez is still in there. Very good AVP. And you said flipping Jalo, Vinny team of the week and headliner led to this. Thanks for this year, AVP. Dude, you got it, bro. Team automatic. Another Zidane. Dino, Roberto Carlos. Hey, team of the year, Hakimi. 
Hey, Elite, I rate, I rate this, bro. I rate Team of the Year Hakimi still being in this team because that right back for me was a card that I used so much. People use this Team of the Year Ruben Diaz for so long in the game as well. But just at the end of the game, he got kind of, you know, outpaced by all these insane center backs, bro. Hakimi is very unique, yeah. 1,200 games on Hakimi and 1,000 on Diaz. Nice, bro. All right, chat, here's a couple newbies. Lukaku, and his name is even, team name is Can't Stop the Shine after Lukaku. He says, Lukaku is so fun to use. Most expensive player I packed was Benzema around 3.3 mil. Wait, the grass guy is back again. Do you know what grass feels like? Feels great, bro. <laughs> with with the ice. He responds with a picture with the ice. That's legendary. Nice, man. Hey, I like that team being different. And you've got red Benzema as well. Fair play. And he's got Casemiro in there as well. I kind of missed it. Casemiro, W. Amavi, W. Don sending his team. Let's go. Yep, we have to have Deketelera and Vanakin down there. Jonathan David as well. With one of the best dynamic images of the year for sure. And this Jonathan David card, 100%. It's a, hey, this year it was so easy to get an insane team, especially at the end game. This end game this year was, it was just super easy to get a crazy team. Let's try to find some inter interesting teams, like completely different. Always rotate the team around for fun, but this is what I've been liking lately. Pogba, Wijnaldum, another Ricardo Perea, first Van Dyke that we have seen. Reese James. I'm surprised that uh, we didn't see too many Reese James, bro. Uh, Kaká. We got Darwin Nunez. Nice one, bro. Different for sure, but I like it. And then the bench, you've got Pele. Hey, fair play for, for having fun with the cards that you're having fun with, bro, right? That was your most expensive card you packed, Pele. Nice. Final team, Marcelo was the best pull ever worth three and a half mil when I packed him. Benzema, Yetter, Gelson Martins. Hey, there's an interesting card in there. Hold up, chat. We've looked through like 20 squads plus, and this is the first Vinny we've had. This Vinny this year was like... One of the early game goats. Remember Vinny player of the month? It's the first time we see him. That's crazy. I'm surprised that I haven't seen him yet, but I guess it makes sense with all the insane footies cards we have had. Not a squad flex, but an IRL long range Golasso with my five star weak foot on the weekend. All right, dribbles, big touch, rip. Ayo, top bins, my guy. Can we get a little replay action? He takes the touch around the midfielder. Cheeky. Great goal. 29 minutes ago from Chubbin. Moment. Oh, look. I'm even here on the stream looking at the teams. Moments Cruyff. I'm actually surprised. That's the first Moments Cruyff we've seen. Recent has just finished Carlos. All right. So you got Carlos in there. Only on seven cam. How is he not on more? If you swapped Conte and Salah, wouldn't that get you on uh, more cam? I'm the rat man playing five back. Best pull was Red Benz during Tots. Gabriel Jesus. That's the first Jesus that we've seen. Mateus as well. I like it. Chat, this is the best part about looking through teams, bro. You get to see what cards people like to use that are a bit different. Gabriel Jesus and Mateus still making a team in August. Love it. I packed both when they were 11 mil. So it's a tie between the two. R9 and regular Ronaldo? You packed 97 Ronaldo and 99 Cristiano Ronaldo when they were both 11 million coins. Holy smokes. Oh, here we go. P-Dad. Still going strong with the Dutch team. Abedi was my best pack pull. A Betty Pele. Best Dutch team in FIFA right here. Cruyff. Wijnaldum, he just added in. Lovely. Gravenberch got some love recently. And of course, chat, we cannot go throughout FIFA 22 without talking about Wout Weghorst. The greatest showdown SBC of the year. Hands down. What a squad, man. Memories right there. Slam dunking on people with six foot five or six, whatever he is. It's been a fun year. Best pull was 99 Messi when he was in packs. Club Legends and Reserves. Pogba, ooh, Dybala. That's the first Dybala that we've seen. Fair play. My first ever FIFA started in June. Wait, what? Started in June. CR7 is my best pull. You got this and you started in June? I mean, to be fair, three of these cards have come out in the past week. Ericsson, uh, Diego Carlos, and Rudiger. Wow, Mateus still on this team too. Fair play. I love seeing these teams. Oh, Prime R9. Okay. Marquinhos making a squad. Donnarumma team of the year. Oh, you got to get him out of there. Fraud. 1400 games you have with donovan wait with donnarumma donna 1400 games oh my gosh and you still like this card best pack pull ribery hogba desai nice oh right wing milito now that's a card i have not seen that foot account on top i have not seen that card yet today that's an interesting one ggs bro all right chat we'll do a couple more oh there's Vinny. 
Eusebio, Garincha, Cafu. Actually, those are all new cards. Modric, too. We didn't look at these guys. Nice team, bro. Different. I like it. This is uh, Brazilian in the chat. Best pulls, CR7 and Conte during Team of the Year week. Renato, the Rad Ben Yedder. You've got Vinny in there. Marcelo, Cafu still starts for you. Nice. 1,200 games with a Team of the Year. Cristiano Ronaldo. What a grind. Trey sending in his team says R9 and R10. You packed. Wow. I love the full icon team, mate. He just finished Dino, got his SPC done. I respect it. Full icon squad. Behind the curve this year more than ever, but still a dub, man. It's crazy to see how these cards change, how these teams change, like in the end game when everything else gets re-released back into packs. I bet if I would have said like, hey guys, show me your teams like two months ago, the Tots cards, crazy different. You know what we didn't see looking through all these teams? We didn't see flashback Varane. And if we would have looked at teams two months ago, heck, one month ago, we would have seen flashback Veron in like so many teams. Crazy, right? But we have the 99 now, so everybody's got the better version. Lovely teams. Of course, a lot of them you could say, Nate, they all look the same. They've all got Veron. They've all got footies Mendy or footies this or that. I get it, right? But that's because we like cards that are also a little bit meta as well that perform very well in game. We gravitate towards those. But it's also fun to see the diversity in what attackers or what different cards people may have around those kind of usuals, right? I just want to look through some of your guys' squads today and just enjoy the fun and enjoy the grind that FIFA 22 has been with some of the great endgame squads that we have, bro. It's a lot of fun.